let's put you to the test. Quahua and Tail seem to be on the Sky Splitter too. Let's look for them. prison. I had a hard time trying to leave. I'm very happy to be seeing you again. Obviously. I saw in the news that you're a coach now. You've got your hands in all kinds of pies, haven't you? I was thinking you could train Wawa properly and have her attend the war dance to fight against a few others. That's much more effective at training one's bravery than watching horror flicks. Huh? That's what you were thinking about? No, 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 no. One punch and I probably won't stop crying for ages. Please don't do this to me. So that kid you're training, uh, Luca or whatever his name is, he got beat anyway. Isn't this the Perfect opportunity to throw Huahua into the mix. Oh, right. Is Mr. Luca doing all right? The news said he couldn't even stand. Since Mr. Luca is really popular, he'll definitely clear the popularity revival vote in return. Please cheer him on. Oh, what cheering? You're just trying to change the subject, you timid brat. You don't want to fight in the war dance, do you? Because he got thrashed? Extra, extra! Brat even more cowardly than Huahua discovered. Read all about it! You don't say that, Mr. Tail! It's probably really emotionally damaging to realize how huge the skill gap is between you and your opponent. Is that the reason you don't want to fight? <sighs> If that kid wants to forfeit the match, coach, why don't you give Huahua some proper training and forget about this mess? Actually, hallucinations. There's a way to deal with them, as long as there's someone who's superb at dealing with matters of the heart and a kind-hearted Heliobus willing to help out. What are you lot looking at me for? Stop 
looking at me like that? Do I look like a psychiatrist to you? Ah, you people. I bet you think I'm super useful, don't you? I'm charging a fee next time. Thank you, Mr. Tail. Lucky I'm a bit softy on the inside. Where's Luca now? Take me to him. I took advantage of my post to watch the competition, but... You're back! Who are these two? to have disappointed you. <sighs> Luca's really down in the dumps now, and he can't lift his spirits up for anything. I ordered a couple pounds of grilled meat for him so he might have a feast to cheer him up, but he just sat there all moody and devoured the lot. No matter how bad my mood is, high-quality protein is never to blame. Actually, Mr. Luca, we're healers invited by Miss Nameless to help you with your depressive emotions and hallucinations. There is no we. I'm the only one here who's powerful enough to perform such a difficult task. Everyone, I've already withdrawn from the tournament. Please stop wasting your time and money on someone as useless as me. I can't take it! The depression he's radiating is making even me uncomfortable. Ugh. Hurry up and let me at him. I'm really gonna start charging money next time. Uh, this... Mr. Tail? What are you doing so close to me? <sighs> Cold! I was shivering for a second there. We're to help the kid find his confidence again. We'll have to strike at the root of the problem and remove it completely. Let's just make it quick. Margie! You're here to watch me fight again? Yeah, you're just too strong. I was so scared when those three big guys came out, but you managed to beat them all. I really hope I can grow up to be strong like Luca one day. Of course you will. You just have to eat well, sleep well, train well, and you'll be even stronger than I am. When that happens, you'll be able to KO me in just a few punches. And yell triumphantly in the ring? The Multamerville Warrior! The peerless Balder Champion! Defeater of evil throughout the world! <laughs> Not that, Luca! That's the line when you defeat the baddies! Ah, it's getting late. You should be getting home. The early bird gets the worm. That's how you grow up big and strong. Um, Luca? I might not be able to watch your next match. Hmm? <laughs> That's all right. Even if you're busy, I know you've always got my back. Just remember to come by for the match after that. I'm facing off against the decapitating singer, Congiorni, and you can't miss it. Luca, I don't think I can make it for that either. For a long time after this, I 
might not be able to come. Uh, huh. What happened? I really hope I can grow up to be strong like Luca one day. Margie? Margie, where are you? Margie? Margie? Margie! Where did you go? I still haven't seen you grow up big and strong. Luca, who is that little girl? Her name's Margie. A fan of mine. She always came to watch all my matches. We got to know each other later and started chatting. But in the end, I still didn't really understand her situation. It wasn't until much later that I learned she had a serious illness and was battling for her life against it. <laughs> the underworld is impoverished and the doctors tried their best, but they couldn't, they couldn't cure her. Oh, my condolences, Luca. You may not be familiar with the place of my birth. When I was still a child, everyone led hard lives. Teetering on the brink of death at all times. Some died to monsters, others to bandits. I've seen so much death. Back then, I... I thought we were just too weak. If I could get just a little stronger, even just a little, we could vanquish our foes and keep on living. I did get stronger later on and became the boxing champion who trounced the entire underworld. At the time, I believed that as long as I swung my fists, no one could defeat me. I could be a role model for all the kids in the underworld. I could tell them that no matter how scary the opponent was, as long as we kept on fighting, we would win out. We would definitely win. But when I wanted to tell Margie the news about my victory, her father told me she was gone. Margie, uh, she was battling the demons of her sickness. That frail, tiny body of hers. She was always battling. She must win the next round. In the end, I finally understood that there are always unwinnable battles in life. Some fights, no matter how much you need to win. You still lose. Just like I faced off against Mr. Boot Hill. I lied to those kids. And to myself. <laughs> I can't face them. He's avoiding the problem. Gum wubba boo! Others might play games with you, but I ain't playing. I'm putting my life on the line here. But if you don't even have the guts to do the same, then what are you here for? Come on. Look down the barrel of my gun. Walk over here and take a swing at me. You got the guts. Luca, come on. Get over here and take a swing at me. You got the guts? Uh, uh, speak up! Bring it on, Boot Hill. I'll make you eat your own words. <laughs> Screw up a boot. You've got some guts. Bullets don't have eyes, so 
Don't blame me for being ruthless. I thought your defeat was graceful. Not everyone has the guts to charge at a loaded gun and land a punch. <laughs> what else could I do? Turn around and leave. Accept defeat. How is that any different than taking a desperate stand? No matter what I chose, my life wasn't in my own hands. Don't you get it? If he wanted me dead, I wouldn't have had the chance to even muster an ounce of resistance. In short, it was Mr. Boothill who spared my life. I hate this feeling. It makes me feel powerless. Like my life is within the palm of their hand. But all my efforts to fight back seem like a... Like a joke. That girl, Margie. And she confronted the demons of her sickness. She must have felt this way too. No? Oh, you idiot. Is there anything in this world that isn't in the palm of the universe? <sighs> Even our Heliobi ancestors were trapped in the furnace. Even the eons must walk the path. Freedom? <laughs> Is freedom really that important? You don't get it, Mr. Tail. I just don't want to lose. Ah, why'd he run off again? Forget it. We're almost in the depths of his inner world. The nightmare causing his loss of faith should be hiding there. Run! Run! Run, you fool! You can't win! You'll die! Run! Run! Run, you fool! You can't win! You'll die! Run away! Quickly! Flee! You can't win! Run back to Bellabo! The skill gap is too much! You'll die! You're still thinking of bringing glory back home? To have your name exalted? Dream on! You absolutely can't win! Run! Are you not afraid of death? Hey! You pieces of trash! Stop spewing nonsense here! Scram! Who are you? You don't belong here! You should not be here! You are... Invaders! Invaders! Must be purged! Uh, you're kidding! You're trying to get rid of me? Oh, this is outrageous! Away by the wind. <laughs> Dreams do come true. Let the show begin. Luca, I've cleared out that noise messing with your head. You better get it together. Mr. Jepard, uh, an officer in Bellabok. He said something like that, too. A person's inner voices make far too much noise, especially so during safe and quiet moments. Ironically, the voices that truly matter often become audible only in moments of pain, discomfort, and peril. What I 
was staring down the barrel of Budel's gun. I realized Mr. Depart was right. My inner heart was at peace. There was only one sound that was yelling nonstop. It got louder and louder till it just overwhelmed everything around me. That voice said, run, run, run away quickly. You'll die if you don't. That was the truest voice in my heart when I stared danger in the face. <laughs> I guess it means I'm not as strong as I thought I was. <laughs> Your inner voice told you to run. So, uh, why did you still charge towards it? <laughs> because there was another weaker voice. So weak that I could barely hear it. But it still managed to reach my ears. It said, If you run now, you might as well just die here. So you did well. You charged forth. But I lost, Mr. Tail. I listened to that very important voice, and... I lost. Terribly. Even if I were to be revived, I would still lose. If not today, then tomorrow. No matter how strong I become, I would still eventually lose. <laughs> My sight! You're killing me here! You're a real comedian! Isn't that just common sense? <laughs> you humans are very fragile. Heliobiar too, of course, but uh, uh, that's not the point. Uh, the point is... Life is a fight in a ring you're bound to lose. Aging, uh, disease, unattainable desires... Each one will knock you out. Death just lands the final blow, making your friends and family cry. If, if there's nothing but a path of complete and utter defeat to walk, what exactly can be considered winning? Fool! What's the point of asking someone else this question? Huh? Isn't that something that only you can define? I... don't understand. You might as well be a single cell organism. <sighs> Let me ask you a question, and answer it properly. That young fan of yours, Margie, she fought with her illness her entire life, and she didn't make it through in the end. Tell me, did she lose? She did? Huh? But she tried her best in everything she did. She was always putting up a fight against her sickness. One punch after the next, she was the greatest boxer there ever was! In my heart, Margie won. And she won in style. See? You fully understand, don't you? <laughs> there are rules to victory and defeat in the ring. But with our lives, only we get to dictate the rules. Luca, the most important thing is to always throw the next punch. The most important is to always throw the next punch. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Tail! Oh, stop! Stop! Stop it! Ugh. I can't stand people's gratitude! Ugh. Ugh. Now that you've gotten yourself together, it's time to give it your all in your repishage!
Miss Carmella, Coach, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have given up so easily. Luca, what's with you? I've decided to participate in the popularity revival repechage and return to the war dance's stage. That's great! Luca, you finally come around! Huh, that's fantastic! I was sad seeing you so depressed just now. Yes, thank you. All of you. I'll never back down from a fight ever again. But what happened just now? Luca just came to his senses after that green flash of light. This treatment is a little too... effective. Isn't it? Maybe it's because I've seen too many bizarre things after arriving on the Luofu. But after witnessing Mr. Tail's capability, I'm actually surprised that I'm not very surprised at all. <laughs> Who are you calling a bizarre thing? Speaking of which, doesn't the popularity revival repechage rely on popularity votes? Is Mr. Luca qualified to join the Repishosh? Let's see, let's see... Uh... <laughs> I found it! Luca, the list, the Repishosh, he's in it! Kid, looks like you're gonna be busy! A pity! I'll have to temporarily shelve my plan to have Wahwa get pummeled. Bye! Please, come see my match again next time. I won't disappoint you, after all the help you've given me. wins a few matches in style. Got it? Good. I'm counting on you, then. <laughs> We're leaving. I'll see you some other time. I should also head back to the lounge to prepare for the repishage. <laughs> <laughs> 